Hey everyone, how are you doing? Um, I just thought that it's been ages since I've done a video because of holiday. I've been away for two weeks and then I had to take like a week and four days now of time to kind of recoup after that, as you do. Um, which just so happened to be busier than I thought it would be, so it didn't end up working out anyway. But I thought I'd get back into doing some videos and to get back into the swing of it I thought I'd do something a bit different. And that is a bit of a CD kind of update and unboxing kind of video. And as you can probably tell from the title, wherever it is up there or down there, wherever YouTube puts it these days, you know what it's about. But I've got four to show you today and I know pretty much what they are. So I thought I'd kick off and show you what I've got recently. Let's have a look at this one first. This you could almost see as a bit of a guilty pleasure for a person who's into like death metal and stuff like that. But um, this is Jonathan and Charlotte together. And you may have heard of these guys. They're, they were the runner-ups, I believe, for Britain's Got Talent a few years ago. And I'm not a fan of that show these days. I think a lot of shows like that, especially X Factor and big talent shows, are quite dodgy these days, which is a bit of a shame. But these two vocalists are absolutely phenomenal, in my opinion. So um, I checked some of their stuff out on YouTube, like aside from obviously like their auditions and stuff like that. And I ended up just really wanting to get the album. And yes, it's just really good. And I'm looking forward to checking out the rest of that. And let's have a look at this next one. Oh, here we go. No collection is complete without Queen. Uh, this is The Greatest Hits number two, and I think years and years ago I actually had this on VHS videotape. Uh, my parents had it and I used to absolutely love it. I like watched it loads and loads as a kid. Um, let's have a look. It's got just so many fantastic good songs on here, like um, all your classics, like Under Pressure, Radio Gaga, I Want It All and that kind of stuff. But one of my favourites on here personally is Innuendo, which is track number six which I just think is absolutely fantastic. And the cassette or the um, VHS tape of it was fantastic as well. It had all of like the music videos. And that was a particularly interesting one in my opinion, if I remember correctly, with like all these kind of dolls and like puppets. It was, it was pretty interesting, quite strange. But um, when I was on holiday, we ended up talking a lot about like old school rock and stuff like that. And yeah, like I said, no collection is complete without a bit of Queen. But onto the main event, as it were, I thought I'd share this, and this is um, pretty well packaged, so it's a good thing I've got scissors and a knife if I need it. But as you can probably see, Season of Mist. So yeah, you know what this is going to be pretty much. Let's see if I can get into this. I'm really excited about this. Uh, let's have a look. There we go. Ooh, nice, I wasn't expecting that. But anyway, these are the represses of the first two Carrick Angren albums. Um, this one, of course, is Death Came Through a Phantom Ship and Lum and Dumb, 2008 and 2010, I believe. But um, I first heard about these guys from Infidel Amsterdam's channel, and if you're like big into like metal on YouTube, you've probably heard of this guy. He's absolutely awesome, and I love his videos. Um, every day, like every time one of his videos like comes up in my subscription box, I just like drop everything and I have to watch it. <laughs> but um, he did a video on some of their stuff quite a while ago, a few years ago, and as soon as I heard some of the clips from the video, I had to try and get these albums. But they were really, really rare at the time. You'd be paying a stupid amount of money to buy them because um, they went out of print quite quickly, I think. But um, it's only been in the last month or a couple of months that Season of Mist has reprinted these and I'm really, really glad they have because what I've heard from both of these earlier albums is absolutely fantastic, especially Lama and Dan, actually. But um, I also have their latest album, Where the Corpses Sink Forever, and it's good, but from what I've heard of these albums, I think I'm going to actually end up preferring these. But I'm just so happy that I finally got these. I've been looking for these or trying to get these for like a year, a couple of years maybe. And 
God, these just look awesome. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but where the logo is, and same on here, it seems to be, yeah, that's, that's almost it. You can see it's sort of metallic and a bit, maybe like embossed or phrased, and it just looks, oh, it looks fantastic. It looks really, really good. So I'm definitely very, very excited to check these out, and the other two albums. I just found this in with it as well. It looks like a just small card carton, like bonus disc. And uh, I'll have to check this out by myself and just have a look. Oh, there's a band called Slutbox on here. That should be interesting. But um, yeah, I like getting small things like this. Sometimes you find some really good bands just by accident. So that was my sort of small CD update. Got four new ones. I ordered these last week, I believe, and I'm very, very, very excited to get these on my computer and whack them in the CD player and start listening to them. Um, I might do another video soon, actually, um, showing my kind of purchases while I was in Berlin and Barcelona. I was able to get some very good um, like CDs and even a couple of vinyl. I'm not sure if you can see up there. Um, Book Burner by Pig Destroyer and One of Us is the Killer by... Um, the Dillinger Escape Plan. I was able to pick those up while I was out there. So that might be a separate video. I might have to dedicate some time to that because I picked up some fantastic albums while I was out there. But anyway, I'll just wrap it up here, I think. Um, definitely very excited to check these out. I will be doing more sort of like CD updates in the future, I think, to talk about some more albums. And there will be more album reviews coming fairly soon. I might even review some of these. I'm not sure yet. But... Um, let me know what you think of these albums, if you have them, especially the Karakangren, because I'm just so excited to finally get to listen to these and add them to my collection. But um, for now, I'll just say goodbye and I'll see you soon. Best of, best of luck to you all.